Hello everybody, my name is Desmark and this is episode 2 of the Grease series and let's just get into it. Let me just press play. Just gotta wait. Uh, let's just go on the political map mode. Let's get started. Uh, last episode we were just like focused on economic reforms. As you can see we built up the first railroad between Athens and like I think this is called Corinth. I think that's Corinth. Uh, let me just read these newspapers. As you can see, there has been a war between Ethiopia and Egypt. Uh, it makes sense that Ethiopia wants to go to war with Egypt because, like, it's really vital vital that Ethiopia gets a coastline. It's, like, they're kind of landlocked right now. If they got a coastline, they're ec they're, they could really, like, dwell up economically with a coastline. And, like, here's a funny story, like, uh... Ethiopia used to, like in our modern day, used to have a coastline, but they sold it off for money, which is kind of dumb because the economic potential for being having coastline and not having coastline, there's a big difference. Whoa! Oh, never mind. I, I swear I saw the Swedish, uh, wait, the Swiss fear, but the Swedish fear. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, like, um, Sweden has Norway and, um, Norway and part of them okay wait the a recent article in a swedish newspaper startled their nation a detailed analysis of their chile relations with the russian empire Ooh, so like sweden might go to war with russia this might be the northern war again wow oh there's um wait whoa scientists and engineers in greece are reported to have invented advanced or Roasting processes. Yo, let's get it, bro. Like our scientists are being well renowned right now. We got some prestige from it, I think. That's actually pretty good. Like, I didn't know that. Ottomans were research complete. Scientists in the Ottoman Empire have recently completed. Yeah, the Ottomans have better ships. Makes sense. Newton discovered. Neptune sorry, I'm, I can't read. Neptune discovered. That's pretty sick. Yo, that's it's pretty good. Let's let's start the game. Oh, there's more newspapers. Okay, uh, oh, Brazil and Colombia, damn beef things. What about the other one? Oh, Frank, uh, Frankfurt uh, Fierce. I think I read that before. Yeah, our economy's doing well. Like, uh, I've slowly been, um, like, obviously education is a priority right now. And, uh, like, since we're making, like, a, a little bit of money, like, uh, we're gonna increase, um, increase administration because, like, like, we really want to maximize how much we can earn. Right now, I think we're just increasing the attention so we can get, uh, uh, tel um, Telisiela. I, I'm, I have, sorry guys, I have, like, very, I have a hard time pronouncing names, so I'm probably gonna mess up. We don't need a military right now, I just want to develop economically, like, as you can see, we've been doing a pretty good job. We've been giving our funds to a lot of nations, not that big, but... We're slowly developing and uh, as you can see like our economic reforms and our strategy is starting to pay off because like like the middle class are starting to be have luxury go goods which is kind of ironic because like you would expect uh the rich to be that but then again we're taxing them like crazy but like, yeah let's just build um a railroad let's just, let's just keep building it because um we just want to develop economically and have like the, the reason why I'm focusing on building ra railroads is because it gives our people the ability to work anywhere. Like, they can go work in Athens if they live here, which is great. Um, like, it gives them more options, you know? Also, like, uh, it, it's easier for them to visit family. I should say they have a family in Athens. They live here. They can easily uh, get there in a couple hours instead of days or weeks. Actually, just days, which is pretty great. Right now, we connected Corinth with Athens, which is pretty good. I think, um, wait, do we have mountains here? Hills. Wow, Greece is very hilly. I didn't know that. Actually, I should have known that. But, uh, yeah, we're, our population is, like, increasing steadily. But, uh, wait, Biden goes bankrupt? <laughs> Biden goes by bankrupt. Oh, we can, uh, we can get debt from them. But, I... I, I don't want to be the aggressor here. I was, I'm trying to play tall at the moment. Like, I want to be a uh, industrial powerhouse. A powerhouse. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm really waiting on um, the tension to build up. I'm hoping, like, some uh, nation, like, uh, what what do we call it? Uh, Great Britain helps us out because that would be great for us. 
do I want the steam engine? The steam engine would be really good because it would increase, it would give us a chance to have um, better grain production. But let's, oh, we got land. We got land. We got bigger boys. Wait, am I tripping? Yes, yes, we're getting support. Crisis is, we're getting support. Good old Britain, my buddy, my pal. My pal, let's get some research. I think I should get, um, do you want in interchangeable parts? This would be good because it allow us the ability to, um, like repair, which honestly, I like that. Or do we get the steam engine? Steam engine would, I think I want to do interchangeable parts. Like that would really help us with the making the factories. Let's just read this newspaper. Crisis set in motion. Yes, we have, we have told the people, the world that, the Greeks living in the Ottoman Empire, one in part of Greece. And as you can see, our, our scientists in Greece are being starting to be well known because like newspapers writing about us, how we made a breakthrough in mechanical production. This is great because we want to be the guys instigating the, um, um, the industrialization. We want to be the first ones with factories. But I doubt it because uh, Mr., uh, Mr. United Kingdom over here the United Kingdom already has factories, but you know what I mean. Like I wanna, I wanna become industrialized like them too. That's why I'm, I wanna embrace everything about Britain. I wanna even become a liberal if I get the chance. I wanna become a liberal. I can change, but not yet. Wait, do I? I can't build factories. Ooh, actually, never mind. I wanna be Russian because you can build factories. Okay, so I think. Um, wait. Trouble is brewing. It seems that the Northern German Federation has decided to join the current crisis on the side. Yo, shit. Damn, no. Why? Why? Please, please, somebody. Austria, you know, you want some payback from uh, the Northern German Federation? Come join me. Russia, Austria, come, come. You're my buddies. It's ours. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's ours, yo. There's Greek people across. We need them. We're, gonna, we're fighting for the Greek people. We want the Greeks. The Ottoman Empire's not taking good care of it. They're not developing the land because they're focusing on Turkey and uh, uh, Syria and stuff like that. If a vote for Greece is a vote for the. I, I, bro, I don't even know what I'm saying <laughs> at this point. But I'm just. My point is that land is ours. Austria, thank you. France, okay, we got the backing from France and Austria. So like, if we do go to war, like uh, Austria, Hungary, I'm, I'm, yeah, Austria, Hungary, and France right now can take on North German Federation. But I'm really hoping Russia joins us. Russia, I, Russia. Wait, yeah, Russia joined us. Never mind. Wait, that's even worse. Yeah, that's a better situation because we literally have a war in two fronts against um Germany. Yes, I acquired uh. Talesia, that's really good. Let's just improve the uh, administration. We want to make the administration here better because we want to integrate them into our society. And um, because they joined us and our economy is doing well, I might as well uh, make, um, make a railroad. Okay, there's hills, but I'll probably get better technology. Let's just look at the newspaper. The fears of the papal states. Let's read this. A recent article in a papal new... Papal, papal newspaper startled their nation. A detailed analysis of their Chile relations with two Sicilies and a comparison of their relative military strengths led the editor to the conclusion that both countries might soon find themselves in a state of war. Wow, pa papal states' very existence might be threatened. That's true because, uh, like, like two Sicilies is, is like, like they're a power. Like, you, you don't want to mess with them. Like, like the like. The papal states are not that big. Damn, never mind. Damn, I didn't know you they were th that big. Damn. Damn, boy. But they're all there with France, so I doubt that they're gonna really go to war. Because, like, that would be dumb. Pa the Pope would win. The Pope would win. It's pretty good. I, I wonder if I can uh, instigate more. Like, which one? Wait, it'd be sick if I could get Bohemia. Uh, and would it... Yeah, I, I think this is my land. I, should I? I should get beer crats first because, like, getting beer crats, I want to 
yeah, our economy is doing better. I should really raise up the administration and decrease the tax a little, like, like a little bit, like a little bit. So like we can, um, really start like becoming a good nation to live in. Like we want to attract people. Like our taxes are not attracting people. <coughs> wow. I need some water. I need some water, bro. I'm constantly talking. But I think you guys are starting to see that this economic plan is set in motion day one. The first episode is starting to work. Like we doubled our population to 500,000. Our education is starting to rise steadily because like, uh, wait, I think, uh, I think we might need more clergymen because we introduced, um, we introduced more people into the population. Yeah, I think we need 2%. Next thing we're going to do is int try to encourage more clergymen in Athens because like we need more like education, like that's vital to our society right now. So let's focus on it. That That's pretty good. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick. Our, our people already started um, making factories in this, uh, this little liquor distillery. I approve of that business. I approve of this. Don't worry. I will, I will boost it up. I will make sure to build a railroad here. I will subsidize you guys. I don't care how much it costs. I just want you guys to have results. Yes, that's what I want you to do. But first of all, I need to just raise up this administrative efficiency because I just want more money from this province. Uh, I gotta like, basically my plan of making bureaucracy better is basically cutting the middleman out of the equation and just having a direct line with the bureaucracy itself. Like I don't like any middle management. Get them out of here. That's what that's that's my policy here. We're gonna make Greece an efficient industrial juggernaut. And that's one of my plans to do it. Okay, so it turns out we have a core in East Macedonia. Do we have a core here? We don't yet. Yet. But we have it on East. We have it on Macedonia. I think I might ask, raise tensions in Macedonia next. Because, like, like I think we should focus on, like, getting Greek people to become part of Greece. Because that could be our way to become a power. Like, a real power. And it's a way to weaken Ottomans with that war. And I'm not trying to go to war because I want to be known as an industrialized nation who doesn't go to war. So I, so as the saying goes, the pen is mightier than the sword. And then it's true. But yeah, that, that's my plan until I start like having a good enough population. I can start get ha having the economy to actually spread like the Greek way, like the Greek way is a great way because like our, our, we're, our economy is starting to come together. Like our middle classes has some luxury goods. Like, like people are starting to come to this country, like hundreds of people. We don't, right now we're not having thousands of people, but that's my goal. Like I'm going to introduce some social spending programs and that should get people to want to come to Greece, but I'm not doing it yet. Let's read this newspaper. Crisis averted. Okay, so there was a crisis. I wonder what this crisis was about. Uh, it doesn't really tell me. But there's an invention in the two Sicilies. Okay. Dutch fear. The Dutch. Okay, so Denmark. Okay, so oh, Denmark researched long-range fire tactic. Damn. Break breakthrough in uh, Moldova. Wow. Organized factories. Damn. I think I should go uh, talk to them. You know, I could I could actually get uh, some knowledge. Let me just improve uh, relations with Moldova. Because I, I like I want to become their friends so I can get that technology. I know it doesn't work like that in Victoria too, but like I'm just role playing here. Like <laughs> I just gotta roll with it because this game's so like fun to role play in. I'm, I'm just gonna say, yo, Victoria two best game, best game. Like yo, I'm getting so immersed in this game. People are right when they said it was spreadsheet show simulator. That's how I like my games. Okay, let's just read this. Two debaters are arguing hardly in the, um, I have trouble reading this. The audience sits dumbfounded as the words like aliens, minorities, yo, we accept everybody. Give them residency. What are you saying, bro? Everyone here is Greek. No matter what your culture is, like, you guys live in Greece, so you guys are Greek by default. Like, I don't care what culture you're from, but... 
for like religion. You have you live in Greece. You should be proud of that. We shouldn't be discriminating here. Like these people are discriminating in the country right now. Like are the reason why we're not being as efficient as possible because the more people that can be citizens can contribute to the economy more readily and they because they're um, able to um, be a part of the economy they can might even start businesses which we need military and defense debate in local election your generals have begun to complain about the bad food the soldiers are getting don't worry guys the plan for the military will come soon we just have to wait it out we just have to get another province by through diplomacy the diplomatic means and I'll fund the military it's it's a slow plan but it's a plan that I know it's gonna work that's what I'm gonna say to the people so let's just say need better food we're not gonna say they need better food we're gonna see we will see how much we can spend on their food because that is true right now we want to we want we want a positive budget we're focusing on the railways this will also help the military in the future, as you can see. Like we we have a nice connected uh, railroad going on. I think we should um, have one built in uh, this area. And we're, and we're currently building, so like um, we gotta give it time. Like I'm really liking how the fact the fact that like we're able to build all these. In my opinion, that is great. Okay, religious policy, as I said. It's between the two, and I lean to where let the people have their faith, bro. Like, that's how it should be. If the people don't complain, yeah, we, yeah, people have a right to have the freedom. And in Greece, people have the right to have the freedom. Speech, religion, whatever. Oh, machine parts are going up. That makes sense, because, like, people are starting industrialized. Like, I am, I'm starting to look at, like, industrializing i already got like one factory which is pretty good like i'm encouraging people to hop into the factory like yo i'm not messing around oh yeah let me read this uh a rip newspaper went away i should have read it rip a rip indeed yeah wow we got a major discovery scientists in our country have discovered mechanized slaughtering blocks damn that's nice we got 20 percent boost in wolf production and cattle production that is amazing i think we have a lot of cattle we have a lot of cattle. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be great. Yeah, that's gonna be great. I think someone should make a cattle farm, a, a cattle, uh, a slaughterhouse. Like we need what? We need to provide the meat to the world. That's great. I like it. I like it. I like what we're doing here. Do we have the economic basis though to go invade somebody? Like um, we could invade Morocco. Sokoto would be the main one though. Because they have such a big population. They have such a big population. What about Morocco? They would give us a nice like beachhead into other colonies. That nah, they would really give us a beachhead. I, I like this. I like this. Okay, let's look at the Serbian West Alias. As I said, we want friends. Al alliances are good. So Serbia, let's be friends. Let's be friends. Let's read the news. The fears of the USA, according to the reports from the inner circles of American government, the prevalent mood of all top officers is one deep appreciation of fear. Many predict that rival that rivals r between UK and them will spark an international conflict. Okay, that is that's not bad for me. But like, all I gotta say is if that happens, rip Canada. Okay, therefore, it's rumored they are considering the possibility of war might come to their doorstep and are making concrete preparations. Okay, okay, Paraguay has uh, researched some stuff. That's pretty cool. Some inventions, academic training. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, we can do commerce. We can do commerce too because commerce would give us the ability to actually like Make our factories more efficient. Yeah, I should research commerce. We're really researching commerce. Like, I've been going hard into industry. I've been going hard into industry. I should go. Actually, I want to focus on uh, industry. Go to uh, commerce. We don't need military. Who needs military? Who needs a military? I just want to 
I just want to make money. I just want to make money in Greece. 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 Making like five ducats a month. That's all I need. But it's like five ducats per day. Like, yo. It's pretty good. Like, as Greece, I approve. We don't need no loans. Uh, yeah, let's go make a railroad. I'm losing money right now, but that's fine. It's fine. How many people are going to the factories? Because, like, oh, wait, zero? Yo, we need we need people to come into the factories. Like, like we need people. So, people, please come to the factories. I'm building the railroads. I'm building the infrastructure here. Please come. I think I should instead uh, encourage, bro, craftsmen, because we need craftsmen. Is it craftsmen? Yeah, we need craftsmen in the country. I wonder why we're losing so much money. Wait. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're, we're I don't want to run a deficit. I don't want to run a deficit. So, uh, uh, yeah, guys, right now, for now, we're going to up the tax. I know this is bad, but we need to do it for Greece. For the people living in Greece, we need to do it. I know this will be hard, but we need to do it, guys. I already have done it. But we need to build the railroads for you guys. That's how I'm convincing the people of all my economic policies. Whoa! Afghanistan and... and wait, war between Afghanistan and Punjab. Oh my god. Oh my god, that, that that's pretty crazy, yo. Looks like Afghanistan's winning. Okay. Okay, okay, so... um. Your guy, a scientist in your guy have invented the mechanical cell. That's pretty sick for the lumber industry. Like, it really revolutionized the lumber industry. That's pretty sick. Okay, so, uh, uh, Lukian, uh, Australian relations. Okay. The Russian Empire expands. Makes sense. Revolution in Japan. What? Uh, J Japanese ra 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 reactionaries have defeated the government's forces and broken the country. Whoa. Japan is under the Shogunat faction. Citizens can expect immediate reforms. Wow! The Shogun is back! The Shogun is back! Damn! That is surprising! We're gonna get interchangeable parts soon, which is pretty exciting. I'm gonna have more clergymen. What, what am I even trying to do? Oh yeah, we got, we're standing at the people. Like, people are standing at a pilot in the factory. Like, that's pretty good. Like, we're making a good... Well, a good bit of profit, like 20, 20, like 0.2 ducks per month on a factory in Greece. This is the start of something great. We got interchangeable parts. Let's, uh, we gotta, we gotta roll with this. Like, we gotta improve, um, what do we need? Semi-automation. Yeah, let's drop the cost of, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just do this. Let's focus on mechanization. So we can produce crazier stuff because like pe like we want to be the first to do it. Because if you're the first, you have the advantage of technology. That technology. Like right now, we're encouraging people to go to the factories. There are jobs there. About 10,000 people can have jobs. Think of it, guys. Think of that. Think of this. We can have, we can have a great liquor distillery here in Greece. Okay, I think we should stop encouraging um, uh, capitalists, I mean, workers for now and have capitalists because capitalists are the key to mechanizing because we need a good, oh yeah, we need to tax a rich now. Uh, what to do? I think I should drop spending of education because bureaucracy serves a purpose. Bureaucracy really serves a purpose in a country. So let's just make some dough, make some money, monies. I know we're not making that much right now as we were before, but we're using that budget in a smart way. We're, we're a really good government because we do not splurge. We, we spend the amount our citizens supply us, which is good. And when times are good, we do reduce the tax. So the people should be happy. Living will get better, guys. Trust me. We're starting to get the factories in place. Everything is starting to go 
come good. Things are gonna come good, guys. Trust me. Once we finish the factories, things are gonna go crazy. See, guys, we uh, right now our economy is spiking because of the factory. The factory is producing at a good rate. At a good rate. Looks like people are dropping craftsmanship. Are they? Let's just keep a look at this. The number's dropping. Which is surprising. Like, we're giving good jobs. I don't know why people are leaving. People are leaving and coming. Okay, let's just read the newspaper. Like, okay, there's a fears in Two Sicily. I wonder what... Where they might spark? Papal State. Okay. But, but Two Sicilies? Bro, you're gonna die. <laughs> that's my... Bro, you're not gonna... Okay, so somebody... Uh, okay, that's some military stuff. Okay, see... Our, our Greek scientists are trying to get world-renowned because, look, scientists and engineers in Greece ha are reported to have invented the power loom. That's sick. It's amazing. And as I told the people of my country, things are starting to look around. Like, we are starting to be in positive again. I know, like, we don't have that much, but we will have a lot. If we just invest slowly, invest smart, and take very slow a slow approach to the economy like I, th I think that's good I'm just trying to encourage the uh capitalists we want them we're just we want them to start becoming more entrepreneurial because like we need that we need that in our nation we might also want um yeah i think the best place would be uh this one because uh, there is a big opportunity, by the way. Like, if capitalists want to rise up, yo, please. Please make that factory. There's, oh, there's projects in production. I should fund this. Part of me wants to fund this. Okay. I just don't have the money for it right now. I think I should tax the rich. Reduce administration cost. And now I have the economy. I, I'm, I'm going to build up really quickly so I can fund the project because like we really need to help. Right now is a time we got to help the capitalists out because like they're starting to, they want to help us. We got to help them. Starting to get the materials in place, but they do not have the economic backing of the government. We will help them. We will supply everything. We will invest everything into them. We believe the more... The more we help the capitalists, the more they will build for us. See, they're already starting to put their own money into this. Like, this is actually working. Okay, let's, let's build more um, railroads. They're, right now, they're building railroads, which is like, I want you to build factories. But then again, they might want to take the, they're right now probably taking advantage of that, that nice railroad cash flow, which I, I'm not saying no to, but take advantage of it because I want you to have the economic backing to make factories for me. It'd be great if you made factories, not me. Let's, let's just invest. Invest. Got made. Yo, this is pro see our economy is uh, doing good. 13 ducats per day. That's sick. Build this. Max that out. Yo, I don't want to max it out. Factories. Factories. We got two projects. Got two projects. Pretty good. Let's just go build. Yeah, I'm waiting until 1,000. Okay, let's just go build this. Max. Invest. And uh, let's build this. Max. Build. And uh, let's build this. Max, build. And, uh, wow. Damn. They want to make a man. Yo, let's invest in them. See? I told you. That trick's working. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. The investors are starting to pile up. Like, this is a good opportunity for us to have a factory of our own. Like, this is the first, like, Greek-built factory. Yo, I'm going to pour money into this because, like, if we can supply the world's ammunition, we can have all, like, our economy can start becoming better. Like, um, yeah, I'm already convinced. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm down to do it because, um, like, our, our factory over here is doing well. 
So I'm encouraged to spend more. I'm like, I'm going to wait until I can afford this because I, I see I see potential in this factory. Like, I don't see it going under. Let's go invest. I'm going to invest. They're starting to buy that materials. Like, I see I see potential in this factory. Like, I really do. And, and ammunition factory would not only help us, it would help our, our allies and people next to us. So I appreciate this. So I really want to build this factory. Like, yo, I'm, I'm down. I, I want to put every dollar I have, like. So let's, um, yeah, we're already taxing everyone like crazy. So yeah, let's go to five speed. I'm, I'm down. Actually, let's just read the newspaper while it's five speed. So, um, war between France and Brazil. Ooh, damn. Damn, that crazy. Crazy. Anything else? Damn! Well, oh, never mind. The Zulu Wars. Watch UK lose to Zulu. I doubt it, but... Uh, US goes to war with who? Mexico. Damn! Makes sense. They want California. They want California. <sighs> okay, we're gonna get some automation soon, so let's just fund this factory. Industrial uh, crisis. Damn. Let's look at this crisis. France. Damn. Crazy. Yeah, the Ottoman Empire is really falling apart. They're really becoming the sick man of Europe now. Uh, I want to fund my factory. I want to help these investors out, you know? Like, government help isn't bad. Like, we got to help these guys out because they're starting out. These, these guys don't have the cash flow because I've been taxing them like crazy. But that's why I need to help them out. Because, like, if they can take the opportunity of getting those profits from the uh, uh, from this factory, that will come back in taxes, which will be great for me. <laughs> so investing in this factory is investing in the future of this country. So I will put everything I have. We almost have it. It's going to build soon. Like, I really want this factory built because it would be the first Greek factory, not the other factory, which came from uh, the Ottoman Empire. Like, as I said, when I, when I wanted, when I took this province, I wanted to prove that, like, we could do a better job than the Ottoman Empire. And with this factory, I will prove it. Now, just, um, wait, the Ottoman Empire might go to war with Russia. Damn, that's crazy. That's insane. Max. Okay. We almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's invest more. Max. Max that out. Almost there. Yes. Yes. It's building. Sick. I, I really like this. I really like this. There's already craftsmen ready to work. See these? These. Me having capitalists is encourage craftsmen. Which is pretty sick. Let's just read this. Uh, regionalism and interventionism. Our country's not big enough to do interventionist stuff yet. So uh, let's just become state. I, I agree with state capitalism. Because look at what we're doing in Athens. Like we're encouraging entrepreneurs. And they're starting to go crazy, bro. They're building their own factories. Encouraging workers to work for them. That's crazy. Like they're, they're really seizing the opportunity here in Greece. Damn. I'm proud of them. I'm proud. I wonder what this does. Oh, short cards. I didn't know about this. Wait, does this tell me like what's happening in the world? Damn. Damn, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Uh, let's go invest in this one too. Yeah. Let's read the newspaper. Crisis averted. Damn. Russian uh, Russian Empire expands. Damn. Walking research. New patent. Okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, war policy. I would say we're not going to go to war. So war between countries is never good. Yep. I agree. I agree. Especially because um, we can't handle it right now. Do we have any loans? I don't think we have any loans. Wait, we have loans? Oh, shit. Damn, I didn't know. Repair loans. Like, we don't want to be in debt to anybody. Done. We don't want no loans. We want to give out loans. That's what we want to do. Let's 
build this. Let's build this. Uh, let's do interesting policy. Um, can I go interesting? Max. Well, damn. Wait, more railroads. Okay, I, I was like, I was like, yo, like crazy. Someone wants to build a factory, but nah, more railroads. I'm more. Ha wait. Okay, what's happening? Is it I ask the of this government right that a man with the life of hard, honest work behind him should be left without aid or assistance or merely on the account of the whims of fate? A farmer in one of our states has had a near fatal trashing accident which has left him permanently disabled and disfigured. The cause has been brought to the national scene in the parliamentary debates over the Greek pension system where reform-minded MPs have used the case as a bat bit which to beat the government. Forced to reform. Social reform. Trinketed pensions. Yeah, let's have pensions. We need pensions. Sure. I'm fine with pensions. We should reward the people, the hardworking people. They need pensions. They need, they, they're gonna get old. They need a life after. Like, we don't want, we don't want people working when they're old. Like, that'd be inefficient. And yo, people are starting to come to the factories. That's nice. That is good. I really like that. Really like that. This, and you, this factory right here will be our success. But I'm scared we might not have any of these resources. So uh, we got to get our hands on those resources. So where might we get those resources? Is it time to go to war? Or shall we dwell? Does Morocco have metals? Food, 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 food. Food, 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 food. Okay, food, food. What about Tunis? Okay, I didn't mess up that opportunity. So, Kodo. Okay, just cattle stuff. Okay. What about you? Oh, never mind. What about you? Coffee. Lumber. Okay. No metals. Rip. Let me read the newspaper. Fears of Netherlands. Okay. Convention. Sick. US expands? Damn. I really want this factory to be built. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. As you can see, this factory right here, doing well. Because we have a lot of grain in our country. We have a lot of grain in our country. That's why it's doing good. Let's invest in... Um, we got to show our new Greek people, part of our state, that we appreciate them. So we're building more railroads for them. I don't know why people are mad. Rebel factions are organizing in your country. Why? Like, we're doing a good job here. Oh, they're, um... The Ottoman... Ottoman mans. Bro, why? Why, though? Why? Suppress. This will cost 10, 30. What? Okay. I'm not gonna suppress them. Like, they have a right to protest, but they don't have a right to, like... Go like Alstos, like yo. I think I should spend a little on the military. Okay, let's uh, let's let's pause and let's get cheap steel or iron railroads. I th I think I want to go for a steam engine, so we can mine more. Okay, this is almost done. I can't wait until this is done. Like it's gonna be a really big for our country when this is complete. And yeah, as like this factory is growing. Like, I can see that people are starting to, like, realize that this whole industrialization thing is sick. And people are starting to understand that if they come to the factories, they'll get better paying jobs and pensions. Which is great. War between Russia and... Okay, uh, Kirk, Kirk, uh, they're gonna die. Uh, Ottomans have declared war on Egypt. Um, Egypt's gonna die. Kirk, Kyle's relations. Okay, it's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Egypt, Egypt. 
Okay, we're starting to build that cash flow. I like that. We're starting to build cash flow, so I think we should invest in uh, this uh, this railroad. They need like one ducat, so let's invest that too. Ooh, I like it. We built, we both built the small arms manufacturers, and we built the ammunition for the guns, bro. That is awesome. I like what you're thinking. I like what you're thinking, but right, I gotta save this money and see how the capitalists do with this factory. This is really an experiment. I really want to see how, like this factory is doing good. That factory is doing really good. But what about the am ammunition factory? I know it's gonna take a while to be profitable, but I I I I want this to be successful. I want it to be successful. So it's gonna be made in 41 days. I'm down to wait. Like, yo, it's gonna happen in July. July 17, 1855. Yo, I can't now wait until that date comes. Speaking of that, I think it's time. Like, uh, we, um, I don't think we need any more capitalists. Like, I think, I think we can just uh, raise tensions because more popular, we need more people. We need an economy to support these factories. Like, our fa oh my God. Damn. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, never mind, yo. I was overreacting. Yo, we're 24. I was making bear money. Damn. Encourage people to come there. Bro. Bro, that, was that first day was sick. Bro, that shows the potential of this factory. Like, I want to hire more. Like, this factory's making like 10 ducats per day. Which is crazy. Crazy. It's pretty crazy that they're able to do that. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's look at the budget chart. Like, there's probably more capitalists in the country. Like, I think so. Let's just pay a little on the military supplies because we need to feed our, um, feed our guys good. And I think I should start spending a little bit more on uh, administration. So it doesn't decrease as much. We have 3,000 ducats, like, I think we could build more stuff with 3,000 ducats. Attention, oh, we might, uh, we might spark something here. They're either with the Northern German Federation, but, um, I got good old pal, UK, help me out. Plus, uh, Russia doesn't like them, France doesn't like them, so it shouldn't lead to World War One. I, I hope. And as you can see, our, our literacy is back at 20%. I wanted to go higher though, like, I want to focus on making, a, like, the Greek people very educated. As I said, educated people leads to, like, a better economy because people can do more high-skilled stuff that other countries can't do. So it's very vital that we become a very, um, very efficient country. I'm all about efficiency. I think we should give a little push. After we get more people, I think we should give a little push. In Athens, that like we got we got a factory here, and like we're gonna point to the factory in Thessalonia, and go like that factory is a success thanks to you. So if you join this factory, you will help us make Greece Greece a great country. And I like how we're slowly building up the industrial power right there. I I really like it. And right now the infrastructure in uh like Athens is being built like really good. I really like it. Really like it. So, um, projects. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end the video when, like, I get, like, a crisis. I got a crisis over, uh, west, um, over, what is it, west, uh, oh, is it east? Yeah, east. East Macedonia. It'd be very good if we got east Macedonia. There's a lot of population there. And we could probably take some, uh, production away from the Ottoman Empire. Which would be great for us. Let's go 50-50 on them. Pam, like, uh, we gotta make sure we don't, like, go in the negative. Like, we already took our loans once. I don't want to take any loans in this series. Like, I don't, I personally don't like loans that much. Uh, let's look at the newspaper. Fears in Luxembourg. Okay, Moldova. Afghanistan expands. Looks like they beat Punjab. Okay. We're almost at, like, 100 tension. No one wants to help us out. I hope somebody helps us out, like... We're really building that tension. Like, we should call a crisis soon. And it's pretty crazy that two Sicilies is uh, a world power. That's pretty crazy. 
I could have been a lot power if I just spent like milking prestige, but I'm I'm not about that. I want to become world power a great power great power the right way. Not just true prestige. I want the technology of the Greek people to be admired. I want these world powers to come to me. Go like we need to become your allies so we can be just as technologically advanced as you. And if we get there, that'd be amazing. Amazing, in my opinion. Yeah. So we're at 100 tension and nobody wants to help us out, which is kind of crazy. So um, I'm down to not do it because uh, right now we need people to become workers. So let's do that. We need craftsmen in the country to uh, have... Um, to have these factories blow up. And as I say that, let's um temperature leak. What's wrong with a few drinks? Yo, no drinks. Uh wait. With the rat the ra Okay, what's going on? For quite some time now, our country has been dealing with increasing our consumption of alcohol. There's any available and cheap distilled. Uh no. It's not an excellent it's not an excellent initiative. People will write. I've seen this before. No, you can't get rid of people's beer. Because then they will look at the taxes, bro. No, we need them. We need them to stand bless. We need them to stand bless because we don't want to deal with an angry population. Not having their beer, man. They need their beer. So, uh, yeah, we're getting some craftsmen. Like, I want to see how, like, how we can make this factory better. Like I wanna I wanna min-max this. I wanna min-max this. I want it to make a dollar at least. I said I make 10, which is crazy. But that's probably because it's, a, it's having like a good like um let me look at this project. Oh wait, I could pay for it. I could pay for it. I wanna pay for it. Pay for it. Yes, yes, making monies. I like it. Let's pay for more, yes. 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 I think, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty soon we're gonna have enough money to pay for the small arms factory because that small arms factory, like we, like these, these capitalists are smart because they're gonna, they're gonna take the uh, ammunition and sell it with the guns and then supply to other countries. We're gonna be a two on a two in one deal. Like some countries are gonna make guns, we're gonna make both. It's gonna be crazy. Wow, Afghanistan pretty at war. That's it's pretty crazy. That is crazy indeed. I think I should focus on clergymen next because we want the education to be better in our country. That will give us, like, we can research stuff really quickly if we can do that. It should be pretty good. So, uh, let's just pay for this factory and um, call it a day. Yeah, people really want the railroads. I, I like that. And how many people are there? Like, almost 700. That's proper. Like, our distillery is doing good, like. Bro, if we went on a temperance movement, movement, we would destroy our, uh, like, distillery over here. So, it's a good thing we uh, went with it. Yeah, I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, video. I'm, like, uh, I'm trying to, like, roleplay as Greece and, like, a politician. I'm trying to do, like, what a politician would do in a series. So, that, that's what I'm going for. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And tell me what I can do better. And if you dislike it, just dislike it and tell me what I can improve on. Or just dislike it because uh, you don't like the video. And I totally understand. So have a wonderful day and bye.